Alright, so we're doing another round of uh, chess tactics. Let's just jump into it here. Alright, I haven't done this in a long time. Uh, I notice right off the bat most of the squares around the king are under attack. But on the other hand, the rook is hanging, so first thought is queen e5. It's threatening, I think, e7, queen e7 is I, not quite checkmate, but it's, you know, threats, so. Natural move is like queen e5, queen takes queen, rook takes queen. It doesn't really leave you with anything. They have the momentum. You haven't gained anything. There's always like... Rook e7 uh, is a check with the queen x-raying protecting the rook, but... King takes rook, queen takes queen... King takes rook. You, what have you got? You don't have anything. But on the idea of X-ring, you have queen h5, which protects the rook by X-ring and as a check. It's not mate though, because because the knight can take. And with the bishop, though, bishop g6, yeah, I think that's mate, right? Bishop g6, and you can't move, but you can, you can, there's queen, queen takes bishop, so bishop g6, queen takes bishop, queen takes Queen, rook takes queen. Hmm. But hang on, that moves the queen, so. And it's a fourth move, so bishop, g6, queen takes queen, right? That moves the queen out of the way, so then you can do like queen e7, which might be a checkmate. It's not. You have um, g6, king g6. So, I think bishop g6, you've got enough options though, like bishop g6. Queen takes bishop, and then moving your queen somewhere it looks right. Like, there is after, the, you have rook e7, which would force the king to move, and I think then you can take the queen. That, that looks right, actually. Let's try that. Yeah. No. I missed a mate. Oh, I was thinking you would have g8, the king of g8, but your rook is covering that. All right, well. Not off to a great start. Let's keep going. All right. So it looks like they're threatening a back rank mate here. First move that pops out is queen g7. Queen g7 forces the king onto the 8th rank. You can then move to 
queen e8. And now you've got the rook back and up. You can go queen takes g7 and... Mm -hmm. Is that it? Queen g6. Let's I let's go for it. Yeah. All right. Well, that one was that easy. So you can see by how much my rating is moving, how long it's been since my last chess session. But hey, yeah, let's go for the third. This one's really busy. Um. Hmm. You've got this whole, like, lo not locked pawn, you know what I mean, like this whole diagonal thing in the center. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything with our bishop aside from trade. If we could get the queen without recapture, that would be nice. Like, bishop takes knight. The problem is queen takes queen right away. If we could, like, trap... No, no, you can't do queen takes queen because we have... Our bishop's still going to be protecting it. Yeah, I, I, that's definitely the idea. So I'm going to go over the first move and see where it takes us. Alright, and we got recapture. There we go. Alright, knight takes knight, attacks the king. Does it do anything else? Like, they're threatening taking the b pawn right now. Knight takes knight. The king has to move. And then... And then what? Like... Knight b4, rook takes knight. And if you like b3, rook takes a4, and the pawn's gonna get stopped by the b pawn. Moving our king, like. Hmm. Oh, I'm. Okay, I'm really tired. Is it not just pawn takes rook? How did I miss that right away? Yeah, pawn or rook, pawn or knight takes rook because I'm thinking after if pawn takes, then you have the You've got momentum with, like, your pawn attacking their knight. And you don't have the, um... Like, I mean, your B pawn can... Your but is currently the A pawn can escape. You do want to take with knight, why? That, that was what I was saying at first. Why is that correct? So we take that first. Oh, so that we just get both pieces, I guess. And take it first because with the second capture, it's a check, so they have to move their king. And then with the second capture, you can just protect it again. So you end up getting more material. All right. Yeah, there's that pawn on the side. Your queen can attack it, but I don't think that's a good idea right away. All 
I was thinking like maybe trying to move the knight to an active square like e5, but it's got too many defenders. And besides, there's a battery of rooks on the d-file. I mean, we do have enough defense on our d-square to... Is the idea like the idea is not just like sacking the rook to get more control of the d file? I, I mean, sacking the knight, not the rook, you know. They keep missing the pawn captures. There's pawn takes bishop. Which gets you queen takes. You can do something like crazy, like. Knight F8, I guess. Um, I don't want to go for it too prematurely, but... I mean, I don't see any better moves. I th That seems... At least that... Our knight isn't hanging, it is protected, so we technically don't need to move it, but I don't see what else. Like that, moving the knight to f8 gets momentum on the queen, and like controlling the file, like they're gonna have to move the queen so we can... Oh, uh, okay, they, that's where it stops. That's the thing about, like, chest tempo problems, a lot of them can, can, every once in a while you get one with, every once in a while you get one that just stops in a weird place. I don't know if I'm even going to release this, this is kind of a mess, but anyways.